Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Porto, and they take on Boavista. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, the graphic tells you everything about his current form. Second in the table in terms of league goals, and he looks so threatening at the moment. He'll look to add to those numbers once again today. the starting 11 for Porto. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and of course the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, they're playing with a 5-2-3, as we can see it here. But I think at times we'll see one of the centre-backs stepping forward into midfield just to make sure they don't get outnumbered in that central area. And the game begins. And behind it's gone for a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Long way out this. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill and it probably deserved the goal. A decent position. <laughs> Moving the ball forward with purpose. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Really closing him down. Losing possession a bit easily. Porto have given it away. A danger here as he runs at them. But nothing comes of it. Wasn't a great pass, was it? Well, it's a long way off target, you've got to say. An example of how to press. Porto have given it away. Good control under pressure. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Well, no luck in terms of finding the target. Well, 
he's won the ball. Showing a real desire to win it back. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. This looks interesting. He's going forward well here. And let's give credit to the defending. And a fine tackle. Well, as the stats show us, this has been a really even game so far. There just hasn't been enough guile or invention in the top third of the field from either team, which needs to change at some point. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Getting forward. Well, nothing... ...comes of it. It looked promising. Porto have given it away. Paremi. And no way to sugarcoat that one, Stuart. Well, sometimes it's worth having a shot from distance, but he never really set himself to hit that cleanly. There will be one minute added on at the end. And with that, the first half draws to a close. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Trying to pick out a teammate. Can he put it away? And that'll be the goalkeeper's ball. Good pressure to win the ball back. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Well, not the end result he had in mind. Well, we know he can hit them from that sort of range, but that was a poor effort in the end. And they do like to press whenever they can. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. This looks more than decent. Well, you've got to classify that as a poor attempt. A long way wide. far from the ideal pass you've got to say that's what you call defending from the front possibilities here Pepe now fine reading of the situation now we have 30 minutes to go he's in here he can't hold on to it. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. Jesus 
Corona. Well, tremendous block. Real chance. Brilliant save. Won it back. And the attack looks promising. Well, as the replay shows, that's gone in off the post. His heart must have been in his mouth there. It's a good finish in the end. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Oh, dear. Well, that's not one that's going to linger long in the memory. Well, he had a go there. Nothing wrong with that. But he's got that all wrong. Well, I must say he acquitted himself well under pressure into the final 20 minutes well not the easiest of saves but you'd expect him to stop it delivering it and a struggle to get it away properly well threat about it long way out well a long distance effort and a highly respectable one Stuart well he surprised everybody including me it's a decent effort you have to say well shortly we'll hear the final whistle the home side with the lead Stuart what have you made of this well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well organised at the back. They just need to see this through now. And great use of the ball to keep possession. Couldn't keep it. Well, he was keen to give that one a go. Sadly, lacking a bit of accuracy. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. This could square the game. What an important piece of defending. Well, just listen to this atmosphere. It's been such a tight game, but the fans are certainly doing their bit in trying to get them over the finish line. Foul there, free kick awarded. Plenty of options. This could be the equaliser. But no, he's flossed his lines. Good heavens. Well, that's the chance they've been looking for. The question is, will they get another one? Time is running out now. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Showing a real will to win the ball. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, a second. The referee blows for full time. It ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also look threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer, and Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.